Так, очко мора. Okay, we're ready, everybody? Alrighty, uh, I'm trying to think this morning and afternoon. Uh, good, good morning. Good morning. Uh, last night at approximately 11 p.m., a suspect approached an RTD contract uniform security officer at 15th and Moncrief and shot and killed the, uh, the officer. Thanks to the swift and dutiful work of members of our police department, DPT, DPD, an arrest was made uh, a few blocks away without further incident. Obviously, we can send off serious condolences to the family members of the, uh, the North contract officer. You know, it's really disheartening uh, when anyone loses life, especially when uh, we have someone out there really prof uh, providing safety to our community at large. The victim was the security officer, and we are investigating to determine if the loss of his life had anything to do with the fact that he was wearing a uniform. At this particular time, I'm going to turn it over to the commander of our major crime unit, uh, Commander Bob Archer. She'll, she'll ask any specific questions that she can ask without compromising the investigation. Bob. Good morning. So I'm Barb Archer, the commander of the major crimes division. So as the chief white just said, uh, last night around 11 o'clock, police officers responded to 16th and Wine Coop on a call of a shooting. When they get there, they discover a male victim who has an apparent gunshot wound to the head. He was transported by ambulance to Denver Health Medical Center. Uh, he later died of his injuries. Uh, through our investigation over the last 12 hours, we've learned that two women were talking to this victim. Uh, he's, again, a security guard for RTD, and they were asking him for information about light rail uh, routes, trying to find their way back. While they were talking with him, they saw a male approach the victim from behind, male pointed a gun to the victim's neck and then the witnesses heard a gunshot, the victim fell, and the suspect ran off. Officers arrived, they were given some general descriptions and started looking in the area. They had a description of the suspect, they had his path of travel. They also were able to view video from a nearby business that helped them further pinpoint the direction that the suspect ran. They began their search and shortly thereafter found a male who matched the description. They took him into custody in the 1600 block of 14th Street, and this was about 20 minutes after the shooting. He was taken into custody without any incident. We did recover a gun uh, that we believe may be involved in the shooting. Our investigation will tell us if that comes true. Uh, at this point, we don't believe that we have any other suspects that we're looking for. We do have concerns that was the victim a target because of the uniform that he was wearing. Uh, our investigation is continuing. We're, still pursuing the information that will tell us if that's a part of this or not. We do commend officers for their quick response. Like I said, we got them arrested within 20 minutes. And the other thing we ask is that there were other witnesses in the area who may have seen something, uh, may have seen or heard the shot. Uh, we'd like them to come forward if they feel like they have anything that would be helpful. So that's the information I've got right now. You said that you, you, said that you recovered a gun. Uh, from the suspect. Yes. So are, are you identifying the suspect right now by name? Yes, his name is Joshua Cummings. And I'll spell that. It's C U M M I N G S. His date of birth is May 5th of 1979. And have you heard of him before? Is he someone that has been of interest to DPD or other agencies? Uh, we have not had any contact with him before. He lives in the area. Can you tell me how similar the the RTD uniform is to an officer uniform? It's dark blue, and as is the Denver Police uniform. Yeah, and you know, and the important part of it, that's the question. We also sent something out to all the members of our department, and we probably need to send that out to, uh, to members in law enforcement in this region. Uh, not knowing exactly what the cause of uh, uh, the, the victim was, we're sending something out to our department, to other departments, to ask any officers to remain vigilant at this particular time. I would also say that we don't have any reason to believe that uh, this individual acted with anyone else, but uh, just as a safety precaution to, uh, to members that are out there providing safety to our community, uh, we did want to send something out to them and remind them to remain vigilant uh, as they go about doing their work every single day. So this was completely unprovoked as far as we can tell. Okay. Your can description you almost this? makes it seem like it's an execution. Is that a possibility? Uh, that's an interpretation, I suppose. We don't know. Okay. 
Can you talk about the suspect's demeanor? Was he hiding? You said he gave over that incident, but was he hiding? Did he say anything? And I can tell you he was hiding, and the officers found him hiding in that 16, or the 1600 block of 14th Street. Uh, I can't tell you what he said. You mentioned that you haven't had any contact with the suspect, but do you know if he's been flagged by federal authorities before? I do not. Is the suspect cooperating right now? Did, has he said anything about a motive? He's in custody, and that's part of our ongoing investigation. Can the, the two ladies that were there were talking to the security guard, can they say anything about what this man said, if anything? Uh, they heard him say something to the effect of, do as I tell you to, and then the shot went off. And that's what they heard from him. Are you guys working with federal authorities on this? Um, we've heard that there have been, there have been some communications between them and you guys. So uh, any questions regarding a federal involvement, we would ask you to contact the FBI. Could you not say if you're working with them? We always work with our local law enforcement agencies, so if there's information that we can share, uh, we do. Did this suspect have any other weaponry on him? Uh, that's part of the investigation that I can't release right now. If you think this person might have been targeted for his uniform, is there anything else about the victim that he could have been targeted as well? Well, again, we're not 100% sure uh, uh, what motivated this particular individual to, to, to shoot the victim. Uh, but as I stated, as a precautionary matter, given the fact that he was, uh, the victim was wearing a uniform, we certainly wanted to remind all of our officers and other officers to be vigilant uh, as they go about doing, doing their particular their job of providing safety for the communities at, at, at large. So again, but uh, his motivation as of this point has been undetermined. Uh, and obviously that's one of, the, one of the important factors in the investigation is to try to understand why this particular, why this particular victim and why this particular individual uh, who we eventually arrested, why his actions were targeted towards that particular person. And what do we know about the victim? I mean, I've heard that he's a family man, he's got children. I can tell you he's 56 years old um, and he does have a family and that's as much information as I can release on him. The coroner's office will release his name later today or tomorrow. You mentioned he lived in the area. Does he have a residence or was he homeless? He who? The suspect. The suspect. He has a residence. Okay. As far as, um, as, far as the uh, officers concerned, I know you're limited in what you can say, but and this may be an RTD question, but can, can these officers make arrests? Are they, are they armed? Talk, I mean, what, what kind of uh, authority do they have? So our victim was an armed security guard. So in the city and county of Denver, that's what we call a merchant guard. And there are different levels of that license. Um, he had the appropriate license to carry a weapon and he was armed. But he's not someone who can make an arrest or a- Make a, a citizen's arrest, if you will. Okay. Are there any other, other unusual details about the arrest that you can share with us? The arrest is very straightforward. What I told you is what happened. Okay. Is there anything you know on the suspect's background at this point that you would be able to tell us? Uh, he has an arrest from over five years ago, um, out of state for a misdemeanor. And see, has he been? Do you know if he's been a long time Colorado resident? I don't know. And do you know what kind of work he? What kind of I work he does? I know that this uh, the security guard was not a, a police officer, but does, does it have more of an impact because you know he's in uniform and he is providing? service to the public, does it have have a heavier impact on the police department? I think anytime you see somebody in uniform, whether it's a military uniform, a police uniform, security guard uniform, like the chief said, they're out there providing a service and a, a level of protection and safety for the community. So it, it's kind of that barrier of protection that maybe has been penetrated. Yeah. Again, we really appreciate you all taking the time. As uh, we get more information uh, that we can share, we'll be sure, uh, be sure to do that. Thanks a lot. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you.